Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now, we're here to look into lamp dimmers. As you can see, we have a standard table lamp with a filament light bulb. And we have a lamp dimmer that is going to control the lighting levels that is plugged into the wall. We're going to use a couple of test instruments to see what's going on with the lamp dimmer. First of these is a standard AM radio, and we're going to use a tri-field meter. And I'm not too sure whether you're aware of this, but if you have lamp dimmers in your home, they may well be filling your home with radio waves, and we're going to show you how this occurs. So I'm going to turn on my radio. I'm tuned in to AM 530. You can be tuned in anywhere on the AM band as long as you're tuned into static where there's no radio station. It's so very, very quiet in the bathroom. So this is going to change when you switch on the light. So you can see the, uh, the lamp dimmer is actually filling the room with radio waves. And this is just one bulb. So imagine what your house would be like if you had a number of bulbs on. And it tends to fill the whole house with radio waves. Depends on how your house is wired. But in some homes you'll find that a single lamp dimmer powering a single light bulb will actually fill the entire house with radio waves. So we're going to have a look with the tri-field and we're going to see what's going on. I'm going to use the magnetic setting to start off with. So this is a little bit of a magnetic field around the light bulb. In some areas it can be quite high. And on the cable as well. very, very high. Not so bad in some other areas. Okay, so let's move on to our next setting. And this is going to be electric field. And you can see we've got some quite high electrical fields in the bathroom. And you see that they're somewhat patchy in places. So we've got almost nothing right here. Just move a few inches and uh, it goes very high. So it's very, very, very interesting electrical fields that we get around lamp dimmers. And let's do the final setting, which is the radio. So we're not picking up anything on the radio setting, but as we saw with the AM radio, there's very clearly fields in this room that 
our radio, wideband radio waves. So we're going back on to electric and we're going to vary the display. We're going to see what we can find with varying the control. Did you notice that we, we almost halved when we went on to full brightness? So the, the fields that the light gives out are very much dependent on the dimming setting. And let's just see what it does on magnetic. So again, we can see the magnetic field varies. So let's unplug this and see what the normal light is like. So we have no lamp dimmer in the circuit. The dimmer is actually switched off. We will unplug it just to verify. So let's try the electric field. Very, very little compared to before. You always get a little bit of electrical field on cables. And it's something to be aware of with cables is that they do actually give out fields and uh, you would be very careful about letting cables come close to your body for extended periods of time because of this. Uh, actually, at the light bulb, it's very low. Less settings radio. So no detection on radio. But we're going to go back to the AM radio. Let's see what we find with the AM radio. So radio waves have gone out of the battery in there. That's our lamp dimmer, just to your home. The lamp dimmer will turn ordinary light bulbs into very, very electrically noisy devices that produce very high magnetic, electric, and wideband radio wave emissions. And uh, if you want to dim your lights, you're better off using a three-way light bulb and just switching between the settings. And uh, use conventional light bulbs. You know, it's a really bad idea to put lamp dimmers onto your home circuit because they do cause the ra radio waves to occur on your home wiring. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.